No. You're not seeing things. I actually went and did the contracts. How do you like them apples, huh? Alright. So with that, hello guys in the Gamerator 10 and welcome back to more Stuck on the Gate there. Oh, Kami. In the last episode, we got here to Ryoshima Coast after passing through the... That was nearly a really bad mispronunciation. After passing through the city checkpoint, got here to Ryoshima Coast and all of its awesome music glory that you can't hear right now. We also gained several new abilities, including the Double Jump with Holy Eagle. In this episode, there's a few things I haven't yet checked uh, throughout this entire area. First off, Ankoku Temple. This is a place that I tend to forget exists a lot. What doesn't exist, or what doesn't not exist, is this chest containing a vase. Not to... Not exactly legendary, but really helpful. So, I don't know if I mentioned it, but in this episode we're going to continue exploring Ryoshima Coast and then heading off to the capital city, alright? Alright. So as you can see, I don't quite understand the whole significance of this considering, well, I'm a Christian, not a... Is this Taoism or is this Buddhism? I don't know. Wow, it's some statue. Somebody's going to steal it if it's left out here much longer. Whoever owns this thing should be more careful. Okay, I believe these are incense burners. People offer incense here. I think incense in certain spiritual things... It de Speaking of incense burners, <laughs> that's actually really clever. I think it's meant to... Um, I think it's meant to ward off spirits, like evil spirits, I think. Uh, what happens if we draw wind here? Can I put out all these candles? Where there is smoke, there is fire. All right. So that real quick, I hate to make a cut this early into the video, but I want to go into my settings real fast. All right, so what I did in my, my settings was basically turn on the Wii control. What do I mean by that? I'm able to use the gyroscope control on my Joy-Cons, which I got for Christmas, by the way, to to draw with the celestial brush. So if you're a fan of the Wii version uh, and you don't want to use the analog stick, you can use you can use the motion controls for that, which is really cool. All right, so with that, I got some rabbits that I haven't fed. All right, get ourselves eight more praise. Ignore that demon scroll, and my nose is running again. I really wish I would. I really wish I'd know why it did that. While we're going to, um, while we're heading off to the port where we ended the last episode, I I haven't recorded in in a little bit. Not quite the seven month gap like in, in like in Luigi Galaxy, but I haven't recorded in a pretty hot minute. About a month, I want to say. I've just been busy with band work, is all. Like, I've been busy at my regular job and with the band that I mentioned I joined. So. Alright, anyway. This port kind of tedious to run around it, but at the end of the port here, guess what we have? We have... Some kitty cats! I love cats so much. I'm more of a cat person than a dog person. And yes, we finally, finally can use our fish feed bags. You been holding on to them for how long? Man, okay. We also got a dragonfly bead for our troubles, which is also really nice. There's a lot to see and do in Ryoshima, so... Let's see, I believe over here is a secret. Down here on the other side. Yep, there's a... There's an oyster, almost had a clam, and a clover. I'm gonna go ahead and call it this clover's gonna contain either 10 or 15 preys. Yay, I have no life. Anyway. Okay, go ahead and open this up and get another pearl inside of an oyster inside of an oyster, just like in the last episode. And I believe it's about midway down is the power spring that leads back onto the port. Uh, let's see. Things are a lot more comfortable. Oh yeah, it's halfway down. 
These are a lot more comfortable now that I have Joy-Cons, because before I had to like sit in a really awkward position uh, in order to record, but nowadays, I don't have to do that. Nowadays, in the heck, nowadays, people have finally figured out what the hell causes Joy-Con drift. At least then, I can just take, I can just fix my Joy-Cons up myself. Anyway, I shouldn't have to do Nintendo, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, what's also really cool that the Wii version didn't let you do is you can still use your you can still use the analog stick while you're while you're using gyroscope controls, which is really cool. I know I'm saying everything's really cool, but I mean this is a really good game. But up here we have a new enemy. This thing is called an Obume. That's U-B-U-M-E. That's gotta translate to something. Anyway. Ubumes are jerks. Unlike Okay. Can I not power slash you? Okay then. Unlike Crotangos, you can't Uh they always have they will always have their um umbrellas as a shield. I believe they have a little bit more health too, yep. They have a few weird attacks, but overall, not too bad if you know how to deal with them. Their foil finisher is something we don't have yet. Um, and, oh crap, I realize, in of course, Ryushima's enemies have really strict time limits. We're about to go over uh, Glaives, which we're going to go over in just a sec with this Devil Gate. And it's too... Wonderful. Oh yeah, you can power slash. What is this happening? Okay, well, he's, well they're throwing out those skulls. You can deflect with power slash. You can also use wind. So glaives. They have th they have a three um. They have a three. I'm trying to say. They have a three um. Come on, brain work. They have a three-hit combo just like with Reflectors, however, you can actually charge them for more damage, so it's either do you attack fast or do you attack strong, which is really cool. Glaze are really, really awkward to use and kind of clunky in the Wii version. You have to, like, hold the Wiimote up in order to use them, and more often than not, they're gonna... it's not gonna register. Now, these rabbits... Uh, if you're using, if you're in the Wii version, by the way, these rabbits are kind of weird. Feed all these rabbits. Get a praise, but there is one rabbit that didn't get fed. And that is you. See this black and white rabbit here? Yes, this this little thing is unique. You can't just sue Praise for feeding it, but... Praise is Praise. But, if you bring this down, I believe this is the only instance of having to bring an animal with you. Unfortunately, he does tend to fall out of your mouth quite a bit, so be wary of that. Bring it over to the animal lover. What's that in your jaws? Is it... It's not... It is! It's Inaba! If I had a pet, like a cat or something, and she was being carried by a wolf to me, I would feel very concerned. The precious one and only black and white rabbit Inaba! I'm worried sick of wondering where you got into. You found him for me, pup. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Gives us 20 praise. More importantly, I'd like to give you something to show my appreciation. Let's see. I've got it. You can have this funny pearl I found at the beach. That's no pearl, that's a stray bead. Hope you and Inaba can be pals now. You're finding Inaba for me. I always come back. I always come here to take Inaba for a walk. There are lots of monsters about, so I've got my lucky charm. Be careful too, pup. I always debated having like a rabbit as a pet. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Like, I love cats and dogs, but rabbits are kind of adorable themselves. Anyway, uh, we have, let's see. No admins without permission. Good thing everyone has permission. Steel Fist Sake, always nice. Go over here and... Someone was packing some gas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was just bad. 
Uh, what's not sorry is getting this Clover here. 220 praise, pretty good. Anyway. Oh, that's kind of nice that there's like kind of a. It kind of funnels down. It, Seon City obviously needs to be protected considering it's the capital of Nippon. So having a funnel, a funnel down is great for bottlenecking, but going in here, you can see. Huh. You know, I thought this place would be a lot more. cheery. What the? I thought the big city would be a happening place. What's up with this funky looking mist? Looks downright hazardous to your health. I wonder if people can actually live normal lives in this, na in this nasty stuff. Well. Talk to Samurai Dandy. I wonder what Queen Himiko has been doing all this time. She's normally there for people, even us commoners. Until now, she's been able to protect Seon City from evil. I don't understand why she would suddenly shut herself away. Queen Himiko, I beg of you, please come to our rescue. Man, this looks bad, Ami. Does it have any effect on you, dog? When Queen Himiko pulled herself away, the strange mist came. It seems to be making me feel worse and worse every day. I can't even muster enough energy to buy medicine. Queen Himiko, where are you in our hour of need? To this guy. This guy looks strikingly like Ida. This is Hayate. She's terrible. I need to deliver these letters without delay. But I'm in so much pain that I can hardly, I can barely stand up. Mist thickened again today too. Oh, why does my body have to let me down today of all days? It does make you feel sick and depressed. Ever heard of anything like that before, Ami? Anyway, uh, Seon City. There are a few things we can do here. Right here we have a tool dealer. This is terrible. The water dragon is causing so much trouble out in the sea. It's gotten to the point where I can't procure any goods to sell. There used to be tons of fish both in Ryoshima and here in the city. The water dragon's antics have scared them all away. The price of fresh fish has gone through the roof. What is it, Pooch? You've been sent to do the shopping, have you? Not much for sale, but feel free to take a look. We've got quite a few merchants here. If you want to sell your fish here, like when you went fishing with Kokari, you can. I don't have any fish, as you can plainly see, so kind of pointless for me, but what's not pointless, uh, Blinding Snow, you need to buy this rod. Fishing rod combining the purity of snow and the spirit of work. You need to buy this rod in order to complete the game, so make sure you pick that up when you're here. You got the Marlin rod here, especially augmented for Marlin fishing. Alright, Herbal Medicine. This isn't going to be very useful until a little bit later, and I believe the red and green there is a, res is a reference to Resident Evil, I want to say. Evil of curing any ailment. We have charcoal. You also need to buy this to 100% the game. Made by burning wood at a high temperature, perfect for drawing. And then everything else is just normal merchant stuff. Okay. So we have that going for us. Uh, what do you say about this giant skunk? That's one big brazier. Oh, excuse me, it's a brazier. Let's use it to light up the road at night. It's completely out now. Well, there, Mutt, what are you doing out in the mist like this? Look at that divine instrument he has on his back. I want that divine instrument. That would be extremely effective. Look at that. You got a sword, a club, uh, I think that's a bludgeoning, a trident, an arrow, an axe, a, a sickle, a scimitar. Look, I want that divine instrument. That'd be awesome. It's hardly the time to be wandering around Seon. Not since that mist arrived so suddenly. Curse Zone's appearance hasn't helped matters. He's also got like a rack of katanas on his head, which is kind of funny. We I mean, Himiko's gone and shut herself up in her palace. Everyone else is hiding out inside their homes. That would be the job of our leader to help us through this. Anyway, business is slow to say the least. So do the shopping, then get it over with. Alright, I don't know why I went to sell. He has 7 strike, which is uh, the next best. Uh, which is the upgrade to, to I think it's Sumugati we have. Yeah. Mighty Day 7 parts, granting bullet power. I know this is a reference to mythology, but I don't know. Uh, you can buy these, buy this gold dust, which, yes, I did get the gold dust from the contracts, which, speaking of, I better use those now. Oh, I have four gold dust. Why not? Alright. Now Sumugati's gonna hurt people even more. You, you're. This reminds me of that one moment from Game Grumps where they're playing Wheel of Fortune and they just keep losing a turn. And just at one point, I think it's. I want to say it's Dan, if not Aaron, who goes like, ah! <laughs> After he loses a turn, it's funny. Oh wow, I've been under the water for a while now. Lately, the pain's so bad that I seize up when I'm out and about. 
curses! I don't have time for this. Ow, ow, ow. Stop staring at me, mutt. I knew it on me. This is no ordinary mist. It's all over the city and won't go away. Darn unnatural. Seems there are still some people who are unaffected. Who knows what will happen if this continues a few, for a few more days. I want to jump into this canal next, but right now we have Masu. I was traveling the country to perfect my martial arts. When I arrived here in Seon, I suddenly started to, fall, to feel ill. I heard rumors before that Queen Himiko's holy power was incredible. Surely this can't be her doing. This mist across the city is suspicious too. I won't let it get the better of me. Nothing gets the better of me! Alright. Over here we have... Some of this area is a cursed zone, so... Be wary of that. So as you can see, not a lot of Seon is really open to us, at least... Yeah, fairy port. At least not, um... Not the parts we really... Exorcism Slip L, apparently! At least none of the more happening parts are available right now. So... Talk to this guy, Mr. Flower. He's not related to Mr. Bamboo or Mr. Orange. It's impressive weight. I cannot bear it. What's wrong, Grams? What's wrong? You sick or something? Huh? Oh, no, I'm not sick. You're not? What about all the... That about a weight you can't bear? It's my soul that ails me. A tremendous weight presses upon it. Awesome protector, Mr. Flower. Oh, what has become of our city? The cursed mist has covered the entire area of late. Slowly but surely torches us as if we were being strangled. First we, th we thought that a thick fog had rolled in. Then people have started falling ill. Worst of all, the cherry blossoms I worked so hard to take care of had withered and lost all their blossoms. So as you can see, if we try to bloom a tree under this mist... No can do! Denied! We need to do something about this mist first before we can even think about these trees. Anyway. Uh, right here, there's a lot of chests down here containing a lot of helpful stuff. Right here we have a coral fragment. There's a lot of treasure, so be sure you get this now, because this canal, not gonna be not gonna be empty and not water filled for long. Got a bullhorn in here. Very nice. Got a steel soul sake. I don't need it. Maybe you do. Right here we have a mermaid coin. I thought that was a sun fragment, although I swear there's a sun fragment or a stray bead down here. Macroware set. There's nothing over here. Uh, if you want a good view of the area, definitely bring up your map. I mean, to be fair, that's what you always want to do if you're unsure. But there, it's not every day that you can actually travel inside of a river or waterway and actually easily be able to catch all the treasures, and you better get out of here before this place fills up eventually. What's going on? An aspiring carpenter. I don't know what came over me. I had this incredible sudden pain, and now I'm stuck here like this. I can't move an inch. So useless. Useless, 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 useless! If I don't get into work on the canal with the boss, we won't be able to get the water flowing again. Oh, what am I going to do? Apparently there's a- so apparently there's water nearby. Uh, over there's where we need to go, but... I want to grab all these chests first. Vengeance slip. Alright. Here we have a steel fist sock, eh? I know I'm being kind of insufferably upbeat, but come on, someone's gotta be upbeat. I knew there was something important down here. I flippin' knew it. Okay. Someone's gotta be insufferably upbeat right now, and I wanna talk to you. I'm curious. I'm feeling worse and worse every day, and people say the water dragon's causing all sorts of problems. Maybe the Ryoshima Coast will never be at peace again. I can't bear all this worry and pain anymore. Oh, when will it all be over? Uh, snap out of it. Um, can you not do that? Boy, you can be really nasty sometimes, Ami. Uh, chaotic. Eh, more like neutral good. And here we have an exorcism slip pass. It's all the treasure chests down here. Keep out, digging for water source. They digging a canal here? Looks interesting, don't you think, Ami? Okay, one more person to talk to. And my whole body's being choked by something. Feeling rough ever since that curse zone appeared. 
Many are even worse off than me. Some have succumbed to illness. Oh, our poor city. What's happening to us? Okay, talk to this guy. This guy becomes pretty important in Okami then. Curse that confounded water dragon causing such a commotion. How can the god of the sea be running the p be ruining the place like this? I bet the dragon is to blame for the state of this canal too. Well, that fuss has caused the, the lake to plug itself up. Master Carpenter, Naguri. Yami, looks like there's trouble over here too. You think he soon? Seems the whole city's a complete mess. Oh, did you come here for a drink of water, Wolf? I'm afraid it's completely dried up. This canal was a really important source of water for us. That's why I'm digging a hole to see if I can tap into it again. So many people are sick now that there's hardly anyone to help out. In fact, I'm the only one left. One lowly carpenter. I'm determined not to give up. You get quite fit doing my job, now I can reap the benefits. I built almost everything you see here in Seon, you know. So there's nothing I don't know about the place. Wanna know where the key to this water source lies? It lies in Lake Biwa's drain plug. Why did you tackle I could swear he attacks you. Summoner of Wolf. Okay, no, never mind. They seem to listen well for a pooch. Maybe I should tell you about Lake Biwa's plug then. But you don't know if I can... <sighs> Whatever. So the city is floating in the middle of Lake Biwa. Water from it is what fills a canal around the city. Water Dragon's antics have made the plug seal up. No wonder the canal is dried up. That's why we're in this sorry state now. I'm sure that the plug is located beneath this area. If I can dig my way to it, the water should come gushing out. It's pretty exciting, don't you think? If you think so, then maybe you could help me out. Guess what we have to do? The shame wolves can only answer with their eyes. So it doesn't matter what you are if you're willing to help. Now listen carefully while I explain you have to do it. We gotta do a digging mini game. He's focus he's focused on finding the water source. We just gotta dig. He'll get to the he'll get to the correct block, he'll give it a good whack, and then we can dig to open it up. You might need to give me a hand, see so see what you have to do. Yes, I understand. We have two more digging mini games in the game after this. I the last one of the two is required. He's time for Wolf and Human to pull their energy together. <laughs> pull their energy together. There's a there's one more digging mini game that's not required where you actually have to um where you have to start at the top and and work your way down to the bottom. It's pretty nasty. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, please. Yep, you did. Uh, okay. But no, there's one more mini there's one more digging mini game where where um you start at the top, your partner or you start at the bottom, your partner's at the top, and you gotta work all the way up to the top and bring your partner down. It's pretty insane. It's not that bad because they're pretty generous with the time. Uh this is the wrong way. You wanna go that way. Okay, let's try the cherry bomb. What is good is you can orient yourself with the analytics of the game. I can kind of understand why that failed. Uh, how did that end up in the water? What? Okay. Um, well, this is awkward. What? Oh, that's just... How? What the... F okay. This is going very poorly. Okay. Let's think about let's think about this rationally. Use our use water sprout. Water sprout. Bring him over here. Okay. And there we go. One of these NPCs had a sense of preservation. It'd be no issue. Okay. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, I actually got stuck on this part because um. I didn't know you could use Gale Storm like right here to bring your partners over to where you needed them to go. So I just had Nag Naguri get stuck. Um, why am I talking so low? I had Naguri get stuck like in between those two spiked crystals, and it was kind of kind of mean, kind of not nice. Get you here and blow you over the thing. You guys have powerful hands. Why don't you just blow me over the ridge? Now, won't you go blow yourself? Anyway, uh, okay. 
not what I wanted to have either. I don't want to use win. I want to speed him up with bloom. Seriously, you've only got like a minute left. I wonder if it's even worth it. No, it's not even worth it at this point. Alright, there we go. Found the right spot. Perfect. Sorry about that cup, I was taking a big drink of water. Look, Wolf, look at this wonderful water from Lake Biwa. Siana's had its fair share of hardships lately. The water dragon on the rampage and that strange mist all over. No matter it's not what trials present themselves to us. If we saw them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf, you did a good job. Get 20 frees for our troubles as well. You have to do that with, uh, with the water in order to beat the game. All right, we saw more than one. Okay, that's not Goody's role in this entire game. He's just the builder in Seon. You help him, you help him restore the water to the canal, and he's, and that's pretty much everything. Kind of sucks considering he's got a bigger role in Okami then, but oh well. All right, so that's basically the crux of the commoners quarter right now there's gonna be a lot more to do later on we just got to deal with this mist first so these big wigs live across the bridge ahead the area is crammed full of awesome palaces one of them belongs to queen himiko ruler of nippon you can tell because it's really huge i have no idea what she's like but i'm not sure i'll like her I mean, she doesn't seem to be doing anything about this mist plus i make it a point to never trust queens in the like anyway Alright, whoa, things are even worse over here, it looks like. If you notice, it seems the mist is coming from that direction. That palace off there that's obscured by shadow, that is Himiko's palace. Anyways, as you can see, can't really do much right now. Got this guy. This is Benkei. At last, the time is near. Benke the fisherman monk shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. Wandering warrior monk, Benke. I have traveled far and wide challenging master swordsmen. 999 swords have I claimed by my own hand. <clears throat> but now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000. Thus, aimlessly I have wandered. That is, until a legend truly to Seon City. It's said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Heard the legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. They say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it'd make a fitting addition as my 1,000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable, and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city. I'm afraid this bridge shall stay shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Wow, you're a wow, you're a friggin' You're a friggin' jerk, dude. Who So let's say someone wants to get home. You would just say, eh, screw you, I wanna get my sword. So maybe easier said than done. A oh, fishing trip for me this is a true battle with the living sword. So therefore arm myself with the right weapon. A fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It's the purest of white, like new fallen snow. There's no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I what am I to do? Hmm? That's that's blinding snow, the rod from the tool dealer! That fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Be a good doggy and give it here. Offer blinding snow? No! Bad doggy! Did you not hear me? I must obtain that one thousandth sword. Okay. This, what did it say? That something about stu stubborn refusal? I'll look at it in editing. To catch that elusive blinding, living sword with blinding snow, we can offer me that fine rod. It's my only hope for obtaining my 1,000th sword. Alright, alright. Oh, happy days, oh, happy days. Chestnut just found his chandelier. I, I've never fished before. But you just said you're a fisherman. Never mind. It must be different from a good sword fight. When I catch that 1,000th sword, I shall engage a mortal... In mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Hey, that combat had a C, not a K. That's lame. I'm gonna ride over this bar for some time. You just. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Finally, you know what they say, patience is a virtue. So hit, she'll sit here as long as it takes. Ami, hoodhead, hoodhead here is never going to let us across it. At this rate, time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show them how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Okay, so living sure. But head here, sure as a hand. Wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. I think this is the last required fishing mini game. So if you don't like them for some reason, you're good now. Got a basic idea. Draw a line from the. Okay, I don't exactly know what we're fishing for, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, I think I hooked something. All right, so pull, pull, don't let it get away. Uh, Ben K, I'm gonna go over his origin story in a little, in a little bit. I like how he goes yes, when he pulls a, when he pulls a fish out. Smelt. Well, whoever smelt it dealt it. As good as what's good right now is that catching a fish like this. Pull, pull. Okay. Uh, catching a, catching these fish here, very helpful if you're trying to get the. Um, I'm not trying. If you're, if you need some money because you can just go over to the tool dealer and sell these. Gobi. Yeah. And hmm, I wonder what this last one could be. You won't get away from me. All right. Pull this guy in. As you can see, this is a cutlass fish. I believe this guy requires three power slashes to bring it. Yep. I believe three power slashes is the most any fish in this game has, so don't worry about that. Alright, and there we go. We caught the Cutlass Fish, the Living Sword. But gods be praised! <coughs> At last! At last I fulfilled my dream! Well, it was a god who helped you out while a goddess. That is the living sword. That is what I've been pursuing all this time. I don't take it so hard. I mean, it, that was one big cutlass fish. A cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish, uh, an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace. Enough about that. Monk never goes back on his word. So make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. All he had to do was sit on his ass, and he makes the bridge passable. Sure, why not? I didn't realize how foolish my obsession with sword is. Hey! Obs obs obsession with sword. Obsession with swords is. Hey! Swords are friggin' cool, okay? I have like several toy swords here. Fishing now, that is a worth most worthy pursuit. We got our timer. I've we're gonna end things off pretty soon. Uh, Benke, I don't know much about his place in mythology, but he is based on. Uh, he's not actually mythology. He's based on a historical figure. He's based on the same story that Waka came from, actually. Uh, there is a warrior named Benke. Sure, scratch your belly. There's a warrior named Benke uh, who challenged Yo who was a really good warrior who was collecting people's swords uh, as he challenged them. Well, one day he challenged Minamoto no Yoshitsune, and he actually lost against Yo against Yoshitsune. Uh, he then swore his life to Yoshitsune and ended up becoming basically his sidekick. Uh, eventually, Yoshitsune was tracked to, I think this castle they want to say? Uh, by the nobles, he was uh, by, I think, a warrior clan, I want to say? Uh, please take this with a grain of salt, because this is all off the top of my head rather than outright researched. And Benkei basically provided cover while I'm just gonna say Waka instead of Yoshitsune while Waka ran while Waka made a hasty retreat uh, he died after being shot by countless arrows and he actually died standing up it was actually kind of gruesome but anyway go across here whoa stop on me I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains so what's that stuff rising from the imperial palace let's keep going furball Speaking of Waka, look who it is. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, Machete? Ah, not you again. You can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back at Orochi's cave. Why do you keep popping up wherever we are, anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? 
excusez-moi, but I have no time to follow you around. See, I'm busy looking for something. Bah, some prophet you are. Jen, you already know where to look. Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this monkey mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? What a stretchy soon. You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. Path to the heavens? Well, stop being around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, Machete. Huh? He's not talking to me soon there. So he's in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments his people. Think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Huh, we got you all figured out. So can you miss your so-called path to the heavens? You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko! Journey of a thousand... Ugh, excuse me. Journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. Slowly but surely killing the people of this, of this city. Way too long and it's au revoir. No damage will already be done. Are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all! Admit it already! Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Who thinks you should be doing something about the mist now? How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones! <clears throat> Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand, Machete? This is quite dangerous, way too long, it's a wah, okay. A hole in the wall, little ones, okay. This is the only time in the entire game you can actually talk to Waka on the field. Okay, come on, I mean, I'm sick of talking to this guy. Uh, after you leave the area and come back, he won't be here anymore if you try to tackle him. No can do, Buckaroo, he just kind of phases right through. Now there's a line of people. Which longer will be before it's my turn. The horrible chunky miss is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. Come to see Rao at. I've come. I have to come see him Rao at least once a day to stay, stay sane. I'm not gonna talk to everyone here. Good grief! You're, you're look at your cheeks. They're puffy as hell. You listen to Rao's sermon again today. My old back's been terrible since that weird miss came along. Rao's sermons make me feel better in an instant. Rao, huh? Check it out. We did get to a new area, so I feel a little... So I don't feel as bad about this episode being almost 40 minutes. So, yeah. Well, who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Did you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ra. I'm the agent of Seon... Um, agent? What the... I am the regent of Xeon City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. Yep. Get used to the camera focusing on her... Uh... Assets. So what's troubling you, then? Holy cow! This sister's stacked! <laughs> Excuse me? You got a cute little fairy with you. Name's Isun, and by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Oh my god, Isun. Melons. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so you're running things around here? There's a funky mist covering the city. Let's talk about water dragon or something offshore. So what's up with the queen holding herself up in her palace? People of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you've sensed the evil forces over Ryoshima too, then. I'd heard that, res that dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field, though a brave swordsman vanquished him again. Jeez, work gets around fast. Oh, unless someone traveled here beca after... Uh, but before the Kamiki Festival began. Okay. Because of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryoshima too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea and an ill mist covers Seon. These last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. You said something about waves of chaos growing stronger lately. Hmm. Creepy Shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryoshima Coast. What are you muttering about, Hisun? Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but 
Bracer of the Dreaded Orgy is right before your eyes. Behold the great Amaterasu! Mm -hmm. What? This wolf? Mm -hmm. But I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he may have dealt the final blow. But Ami here did most of the work, I tell ya. If you don't believe me, I'm just gonna show you some divine powers right here, right now. I don't wanna. <laughs> when will I see your friend's divine power then, Isun? You want it? You got it, sister! Let me show one of your special brush techniques. Alright, so what we gotta do is, well, just power slash, use cherry bomb, use pretty much anything. <laughs> what was that? You like that? You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's divine powers. Well, I should have used the camera and turned her into a smoking hot babe. Your taste of what the celestial brush can do. <laughs> celestial brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Ami can't do. Maybe this wolf... Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. The quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling. Jesus Christ, Isu! <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that I've lost my prayer slips, the situation is completely hopeless. Come on, tell us what you want! It doesn't matter, just forget about it. Many favors I want to ask, now that I've seen your powers. Without my prayer slips, there is nothing anyone can do. So we've got to find our prayer slips, which we'll do in the next episode, right here. Land of the Gods. Let's go ahead and read that. Yes, I'm all aware that her theme is very suggestive. It's said that a holy realm called the Celestial Plain is situated in the heavens above Nippon, where we mere no mortals dwell. This legend is ancient, and no one today knows of or speaks of it. However, I have been entrusted with the knowledge of this sacred place. One day, I was visited by a man who wove for me a strange tale. He said unto me, The Celestial Plain has met its end. He relayed the horrors of this destruction to me at great length. His talk was unbelievable, but his eyes showed no reason to doubt. I only wish I had the fortitude to recount his harrowing tale here. I'm afraid my brush cannot bear the heavy burden of that sad fate. It seems that the, the celestial plane was destroyed long, long ago. God's spirits, rendered homeless, still inhabit the earth. I try not to think such thoughts when I gaze up at the sky. You heard about the celestial plane from that one, wa that one watcher in Kusa Village. It seems that it was destroyed long ago. Anyway, with that extra sim slip M. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Next time on Let's Play Okami, we're going to be exploring the aristocratic quarter of Seon City through here. Hopefully finding Rao's prayer slips and moving onward, alright? See you guys in the next episode.